Hi everyone and welcome to Hawaiian Design. My name is Kimberly and I'm your instructor for today. So starting off first with what we have in front of us, we have an 11 by 14 size canvas paper that I've taped to the sides of my uh, board underneath just to make sure that it doesn't move around. Uh, canvas paper does tend to rise when you apply water to it, so I taped the edges so we would not have that issue, okay? Uh, next we have our fan. You're gonna need a cardboard or fan or if you have an outlet nearby, a hair dryer so that you can dry your background and we can continue to move on to our following steps. A little bit faster and smoother, we are gonna be working in layers. So we need to make sure that the first layer is dry before we move on to the second layer. Next, to make sure that you have a towel and some water for your brushes. And the brushes that we're gonna be using are our large background brush, our medium square brush, our round tip brush, and our detail liner brush. Okay, next, the colors that we're going to be using are going to be our white, purple, pink, red, brown, blue, black, and yellow. So the first thing I want to do is point out that our brush is fairly sticky, okay? We don't want it to be too sticky. We want it to be a little bit softer on the soft side. So make sure that you guys apply a little bit of water. See, look at how long it's taking for this to come out. Okay, it's really sticky. So we're gonna need to add some water to soften it up to make sure that's a little bit softer. One, so that we don't waste a lot of paint, and two, so that it we don't get a sticky, rough painting. We get a very smooth, soft painting, okay? So if you feel that your paint is a little bit too runny and too watery, then add a little bit more paint in there. Um, that is way too much water that needs to still be blended in. So that's how you kind of get rid of that problem. Okay, well, we're going to start off first picking up our large background brush. Our brush is like a sponge. It soaks up all the water. The moment we press it, it's going to go everywhere. So we're going to come into the side and we're going to begin to add some water to that corner of my white. Okay, I'm trying to mix it in very well with the hairs of my brush, making sure that my water is all out of my, my brush. Okay, so we're squeezing out that water out. And then we're gonna come in with a tiny little dab of this blue, and we're gonna start to mix it in with that white. Cool. So now we have a dark blue color. I don't like to mix it on all of my white. I like to use it off to the corner, just in case I wanna use white later, I still have some available. So the color we're gonna be painting this with is going to be with this baby blue. We're gonna come in from the top and we're gonna be adding some of this baby blue and some of this white. And we're gonna be going back and forth Here we go with a little bit more white. And we're gonna be using this very light color to go from the right all the way towards the left side. So we're going to continue to add a little bit more white to that. We're going to scrape some on. Try to release your pressure. You don't want to push very hard. You want to go very lightly over your canvas. Just allow the hair and whatever color is left on your brush to scrape into that canvas. Let it just spread the color slowly. It's going to start to make everything look a little bit more powdery and softer. 
which is what we're looking to achieve here. Make sure that you use all the paint on your brush. Press your brush and then pull it very lightly a little bit away from your canvas. You're getting that scraped textured look we want. Okay, so we're going to be coming in next with our detail brush. And we're going to start off with a little bit of brown. We're going to start off with a little bit of brown. And we're going to come in and try to draw out the head first. The head is going to determine how big the rest of the body is going to be. So we want to keep the head on the upper half part of our uh, background here. So we're going to go right in the middle and we're going to try to draw out a circle here. Right in the center. See, there we go, we drew our head. Okay. From here, we are then gonna come in and we are going to draw the body a little bit. So here we go, we're gonna come straight down. And we're gonna do the little legs. Now from the sides here, we're going to come out just a little bit and we're going to connect an arm down here to this bottom corner. See, and we have an arm sticking out right there. And we are going to do the same on the other side. Wait this space out, go a little bit higher above. All right, so once we finished outlining our gingerbread man, we're gonna grab our square brush or our round tip, whichever one you feel more comfortable with. And we're gonna grab a little bit of the brown, add a little bit of white to it. We're gonna pick up some white and add it to our brown, just a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow and a tiny drop of red. Okay, and we're gonna mix that in with our brown. We're gonna add a little bit of white, yellow, and red to our brown. And that's gonna give us a little bit of a lighter color gingerbread man. See that? So we're gonna come in and we're gonna start to fill in our gingerbread man with this color.
So next, if you want to use some dark brown, just go ahead and add a drop of that black into your brown so you can begin to add some shadow below the arms, underneath the legs, and on the sides of the face. We are going to be coming in with our detail brush and we're going to start off first with our color white. I'm going to be adding some white into my detail brush with some of that water, mixing it together. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a small snowflake here. Okay, so I'm going to make one over here towards the bottom section. Okay, so first we're going to start off with a cross. Okay, on that cross, you're doing two lines coming out on all of the sides. Okay. Next, we're going to go in with an X. And you're going to go in and do the exact same thing. If you want to go in there and add more lines, you can. You don't have to. So there's one over here, a small little snowflake. Right here towards the bottom. Okay, so again, doing lines on all corners. And if you want to make some lines in between, you can. I'm going to try to make another one right up here. You could go around and make as many of these as you want. There we go. So the following colors we're going to be using are going to be red with white and lime green with white. So let's start with our lime green. Our lime green is going to be our blue mixed into the corner of our white. And look at how beautiful that looks, right? It's such a beautiful green. We're going to be mixing it in with our yellow, mixing it in some more water, making it super bright. Okay, so again, it's a very bright lime green. We want it to look whimsical, colorful. You can do any other colors if you'd like as well, but these are the ones that I'm using. Lime green with some white. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna choose a section. Let's choose this one right here in the middle, green. From that point, we're just gonna come out and make a bunch of lines and spikes coming out from the middle all around. See that? And now we just made a little star. And we're going to do that all around with that color. Okay. 
Okay, we're going to continue to do that. We're going to do this with our green, yellow, and white. And we're going to do this with our red and white as well. You can also use purple and white if you want. All right, so here hopefully we have caught up with our background. After we're done with this, we're gonna start to add some details to our gingerbread man. I'm coming in with a little bit of white and my detail brush, and we're gonna fill in the frosting over the top of the head first. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, but you can grab any color you want. And at this point, you can even decorate your gingerbread man any way that you would want to decorate it. Just because I'm adding this, doesn't mean that you can add something else to it. Doesn't mean that you can decorate your gingerbread bread man a little bit different as well. Oh, sorry about that. I have allergies, by the way. <laughs> so we're coming in. And we're just going to do a swirl on top of the head. And there's that little pink swirl. If you want to add something underneath that swirl, if you want to make it another color, you can. I'm going to add maybe a little bit of pink underneath it. So we get to get a little creative with our swirl here. Coming back with a little bit more white at the edge. Want it nice and complete at the edge there. Okay, you can go ahead and add another little layer of color in there. And there we go. I have my little gingerbread man swirl. Next, we're going to come in with a little bit of that white and pink. Make sure that you do pick up enough water. You can even pick up a little bit of red. And we're going to come in and do the little cheeks. We're going to start off on the right. And there are they are also swirlies towards the center. So you're making this swirly movement with your brush. There's one side. Okay. And on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to kind of swirl it towards the middle, come back in with a little bit more white. So then next, we're going to come in and add a little bit of some lines on the right-hand side. We're coming in with that light pink. You could use, again, any color that you would like to use. You could use a white. 
you know what? And I'm going to add two lines. So I'm coming in with my lighter color on this side. And you know what? I'm going to grab a little bit of blue or my lime green color. Look, and there we go. I'm adding some lime green in there as well. What a colorful gingerbread bag. We're going to continue to do that towards the bottom. We're going to add that on both legs. You can come in again with a little bit more white in there. Brighten it up. I'm going to grab a little bit of a light blue, put that right underneath that. So again, feel free to go and take control and fix your gingerbread mat however you want. I'm going to add some buttons right here on the arm. I'm going to add two little, three little buttons on the arm, polka dots, some candies, why not? One, two, three. Okay, and I'm going to begin to add some decorations around my gingerbread man before I move on. You guys can kind of take control and take it from here. Again, I'm gonna add maybe a pink line down here. You guys can kind of do your own thing. You don't have to follow me. If you do want to, go right ahead. And we cannot forget to add the buttons right in the center either. So those are all gonna be different colors. I'm coming in first with my pink. big gumdrop button and I'm going to add some red dots on that one. Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight on the right. The next button we're going to be doing is going to be the next buttons we're going to be doing are going to be our red button right in the middle. We're coming in with our red, nice and thick. And our buttons for this, our little sugar spots are gonna be white on this one. So we're gonna have some white sugar dots on this one in the center. And again, like I mentioned, we get a highlight on this side of the button. Okay. And our next color was our lime green. Okay, so this is our big lime green button. It's green and yellow. And our sugar is yellow with white. Okay, so you're going in with some yellow. You need to go drop in that yellow in there. And you have a little bit of white. Okay. 
add your highlight of the right. Awesome. Okay, so moving on, we are picking up a little bit of water, dipping it into our black now. And we're gonna start to work on outlining the eyes, the mouth, and then the gingerbread man as a whole. So we're gonna come in first, and we are gonna outline the left side of the face. Okay. And when we're doing these lines, we do want to be a little bit rough with them. We don't want to be too straight. We want to make it look as if we are on purpose doing these lines a little bit rough. Okay. Coming in, I'm outlining the arm. And then again, I'm coming over it a little bit, making it look like if I'm outlining a little bit rough. See that? We're purposefully making it look a little bit messy. Again, that is a personal choice. You don't have to do that. Same thing at the bottom, we're going to start to outline the bottom of the body. Okay. Let's go in there, we're going to add these outlines. Once these outlines are done, we're going to go in and do a little mouth. Slanted. We're going to do kind of a side smile. Okay. After that side smile, we're going to do two half moon or two crescent moon eyes. Like we have our little gingerbread man smiling. Okay, if you guys want to add some eyelashes, you can add some eyelashes. If you guys don't want to, you don't have to. You can even add a little bit of an eyebrow on top of that. It's completely up to you. You can also come in with your white, add a highlight right below. A highlight right below. Okay, we're also going to add some on that smile on the bottom part of the mouth. Okay. So you can also go ahead and add a couple more details on some of these drops. I'm adding a little bit of a highlighted section on some of them. You can also add some highlights on part of the arm, on some sections that maybe pop out a little bit more. The next color we're going to use around our gingerbread man to make it stand out a little bit more is just to scratch on some white around the edges as well. So we're coming in with some of that white. And we're scraping that in as well. Okay, adding some of that white around. Awesome. So then finally, the last thing that we have to do is to come in with whatever color you feel most comfortable with. I'm going to grab some of this red, some of this pink, and on the bottom right-hand corner, I'm going to come in and do my signature.
you can add a different you can add different colors to your signatures it doesn't always have to look the same you can add a little bit of white you can add a little bit of blue make your signature look as colorful as your painting if you want it to there you go and then you guys are done <laughs>